Yes, Reddy. Five minutes, sir. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Sir, AP reorganization bill and BR continue to echo. We've seen from uh, the general discussion on the budget to the appropriation bill, sir. As far as Bihar is concerned, there was a, a very good initiative started by the government stating that to stop the floods in Bihar, they're going to build the needed infrastructure which will be utilized not only to stop the floods but also to ensure irrigation. Now, what caught the uh, country's attention in this regard is the head under which this scheme is being uh, funded, sir. The head is called AIBP, which is under Irrigation Department, or the Ministry of Irrigation. Now, what is AIBP? AIBP is Accelerated Irrigation Benefit Program. This is meant to ensure that the big projects and the last mile, what you call it, the finishing connectivity, should be completed. A dam bana to final kisan ke paas o pani ponche aisa canal system vagara vagara jo bhi zaruri hai that has to be completed. Now this scheme AIBP was initiated by the son of Telangana Shri P V Narasimha Rao Garu way back because he has a he had a lot of grassroots level experience so he felt this uh, particular uh, scheme should be taken up. Now, what we see in the budget, sir, for AIBP, and I'd like to caution the finance minister, because there's going to be a lot of pressure under this head. Now, if you look at this allocations, for this year, you have said 2,500 crores. But if you look your track for the last two years, 23-24, your BE said 3,122 crores, but your RE, revised estimate, became only 1,500 crores. It was cut by half. What happened in the previous year, 22-23, you made an allocation of 3,200 crores, but you spent only 680 crores. So you are trying to fund this major initiative for Bihar under a head which is not sufficiently funded and whatever is being funded, it is not spent. So my suggestion is kindly ensure this because there is a lot of pressure and also to consider while in Bihar you have the floods coming in Telangana, as I rate, uh, like to reiterate again, we have Godavari down and the land is up, so we need lift irrigations. So there has been a request, as the man who started this AIBP, PV Narasimha from Telangana, at least to dedicate one scheme for him, try to fund the Rangareddy Palamur lift irrigation project under uh, the head of AIBP, sir, as this would irrigate a lot of, lot of backward regions. This is a small intervention and suggestion, sir. Second, which concerns the entire house, sir. A very important aspect in the 75th year of our independence. That is when we make legislate, when we make, when we make the bills, we pass the bills, they convert into acts. What is the impact of the legislation? Do we have a, a legislative impact assessment in our country? We do not have. What do we have? We have pre- uh, legislation impacts. So there is a committee headed by the chief, uh, the cabinet secretary and council of, uh, and the other secretaries who make it, who made it mandatory that any bill has to go for public hearing. It comes from public hearing, then it is discussed and sent to the parliament to discuss and debate and pass. But the question comes, what is the impact of the bill? See, India is a very diverse nation, sir. When we make bills sitting in Delhi, we have to see what is the impact of those bills in the 28 uh, states and the other UTs. A small glaring example of the hastiness of not studying and also not understanding the impact of legislation comes from the Kisan bills. Now these two bills were made, were passed, but the impact and how the government had to withdraw is one uh, glaring example, sir. And another glaring example also has been your uh, section 138 of the Negotiable Instruments uh, uh, Act, sir where it was made an, as an example of an ex ante assessment ki jo check bounce hone wali baat hai. So even in that, the huge almost, uh, uh, Deputy Chairman, sir, there are almost eight, almost close to 9% of the cases in the courts are related to this. So I would suggest that in developed countries like the, uh, like the uh, European Union and other countries where they have this impact assessment, then they have what you call it the uh, chairman, sir, the ex-ante assessment, like in countries like Australia and all. 
So fundamentally, what I'm trying to drive on the point is when, when we are, when we are I'm concluding, sir, when we are going through such a big exercise of debating on the bill, let us see what is the impact of the bills also. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Manisri Ramji.